Okay, on to bandit level 9 to level 10. Um, this time we've got a level goal of the password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt in one of the few human readable human readable strings preceded by several equals characters. Um, same commands again. Um, okay, human readable strings have come up again. So we're expecting um, on bandit 9 which got data.txt and we're expecting to, a load of question marks, right? A load of random, yeah, a load of random stuff. Um, hit enter. Oh, just made a random command, but but you get the idea. It's it's not text, or at least it's just like some jumble mess, basically. Um, and we need to see, we need to extract the human readable strings. Um, okay, so we look at our commands. We think grep. Uh, maybe sort, but but straight away, strings. You know, a lot of the time that they're just sort of going to appear quite reasonably obvious. Uh, the commands. So maybe we should look at strings. So let's look at the man page. Print the strings of printable characters in files. It has all these like synopsis with the with the flags, and then the, we can use a file for each file given. GNU strings prints the printable character sequences that are at least four characters long um, and are followed by an unpredictable char unprintable character. So that's great. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to um, we want to print these these strings. That's exactly what we're after. So let's just give it a go, shall we? Strings data.txt and okay. So it prints them out in like lines. Um, we're looking for one. We're looking for a string that's preceded by several equals characters. Uh, so let's just look right here. Yeah, straight off the bat, that looks pretty good to me as a password. But you know, this is a little. That's a little bit cheap, I would say. Um, coming across the answer like that, you know, password. You know, obviously there was more to this than just that. If this list had been absolutely huge, we might not have come across it so quickly. So that was a bit lucky. So let's think about how we could pipe this, um, try and sort of uh, craft a command that will extract pretty much exactly what we want. Uh, if we reason, we've got, we've got a, a file of lots of lines um, and we want to extract lines that just have several equals characters at the beginning, or is at least preceded. You know, there's several equals characters in that line, um, and we've already used a command that does that sort of has that functionality. It was the grep command. Uh, it doesn't sound like we need to use anything exotic. We can just use the the basic grep command that we used before. So if I clear this and so we used strings on data.txt and we're going to pipe it into the grep command and in the grep command we're going to be looking for equals. Now I would just write equals like that but just in case something weird happens I'm going to just put some speech marks around it uh, to make sure it's interpreted as we want. Oh, And I should put several equals, right? Because it says that there's several equals signs proceeding. And so this looks more like a command that is sort of a bit more crafted towards our problem um, rather than just sort of cheaping it. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see what happens. Yeah, and that's much more reasonable, right? A few lines and this nice, this password is. And here. So that's our password. And a nice another use of the, of the pipe and just yeah worked really well I think okay let's go on to level 10 keep going see you there